Welcome back guys. In this episode, we'll be going through two questions posted by you guys on the Discord server. The first one is how to combine multiple indicators. And the second one is how to apply a moving average to an indicator rather than the price. I'll be answering both of these by showing you how to code up the entire no-nonsense algorithm, which I showed in episode 3. If you recall, we set up a template for that NNFX algorithm, which uses the Arun for the first confirmation indicator, the SSL channel for the second confirmation indicator and the exit indicator, and the Chaikin money flow as the volume indicator, as well as the whole moving average as the baseline. For our entry signal, we'll be checking for a cross of the Arun indicator. And to confirm the entry, the SSL channel needs to be green, the Chaikin money flow has to be above zero, and the current price has to be above our baseline. Let's dive in and you'll see how easily we can code this up. First, I'm going to make a copy of the NNFX bot template from the Discord server, and I'll rename it to NNFX. Then we need to create four indicator variables, one for the whole moving average, the Arun, the SSL, and the Chaikin money flow. Then we need to load the indicators when the bot starts up, and I'll just keep it on the default parameters for each indicator. Next, we need to create the variables to get the latest values of the indicators. For our C1, I'll be using the latest value for a rune up minus a rune down, which basically converts it from a two line cross to a zero line cross indicator. Similarly, for our C2, I'll be using SSL up minus SSL down. We also need to create a variable for the previous C1 to check when the a rune crosses through the zero line. Let's also create a variable for the volume using the Chaikin money flow. And finally one for the baseline using the whole moving average. Now for the entry signal, we just need to check that the C1 is above zero. The previous C1 is below zero. Our C2 is above zero the volume is above zero, and the current bid price is above the baseline. If all of the conditions are met, then we'll open a buy trade, and vice versa for a short trade. And we're done. Just don't forget to check the manage references for any custom indicators like the SSL channel. And now we should build successfully. Let's add an instance on the Aussie Kiwi now and we can make sure that it's working properly. So here's our first entry signal. The Arun down crossed above the Arun up, signaling a short trade. The Chaika money flow is below zero. Our SSL channel is red. And the current price is below the baseline. So our bot entered a short trade here. So it looks like it's working properly. I'll just switch the visual mode off so you can see the performance over the last 10 years. And it turns out that this bunch of random indicators which are used on the default settings actually produce some pretty decent results with hit rate close to 80%. Let's go ahead and add the exit indicator now. And this one is super simple. If our C2, which is our SSL channel, is above zero, then we'll just close any short trades. And if the C2 is below zero, we'll close any long trades. And it looks like that gives us a slight improvement on our performance. 
Okay, let's move on to the second question now, which is how to apply the moving average on an indicator. For example, you might want to apply a moving average on the Chaika Money Float to smooth it out a bit. To add this on a chart, just add any moving average onto the chart and you can select Chaika Money Flow as the source. And you can see the moving average applied to that indicator. Now let's go back to our code and create a new variable for this Chaikin Money Flow moving average. And I'm going to call it Chaikin MA. Then we need to load the Chaikin MA after the Chaikin indicator in the onStart section. And we need to use Chaikin.result as the data series source. And I'll just apply a three period exponential moving average to that. Then for our volume signal, we can just replace Chaikin with Chaikin MA. And that's it, we're all done. And it looks like that also gave us a slight improvement in the performance. If you found this helpful, please like the video and leave a comment below if you have any questions.